does have a style. He does he have a flair. Out. flair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he made it all the way down, apparently. A little tough there with the champagne at first, but everything worked out okay. Let's show you what's going on, and yeah. If your name is Dustin, you better get a good shot of a dust storm, <laughs> and he did. There it is. Dustin was flying oh over goodness. the dust storm across eastern New Mexico. Not you know good. what? Oh, it's it's unbelievable. And part of our problem is that we're going to see more and more of this sort of thing if we don't get some moisture mixed in with some of these cold fronts. A lot of the storms we've been seeing, and you know we've talked about this a whole lot, have been curling off to our north. As that happens, in many cases, they drive a cold front down through the eastern side of the state with no mountains. It flows right on in across the east with very, very gusty winds. Well, when you end up in a drought situation like we're in, you have a lot of dust at the surface here and a lot of fuel that breaks up easily. And once you start adding that front to the mix and pushing it across the plains, you get these huge dust clouds. We see them a lot in Arizona, and we could well see them throughout the winter here across eastern New Mexico. And if we don't do a little better for precip, we're going to be looking at a secondary fire season here throughout the fall and early winter that could be a problem as well. Now, we're not talking about the big timber fires, I don't think. I think these will be more rain fires, but still for a lot of the ranchers, this is a huge concern. Winds today were a big deal. Roswell 61 miles an hour, Clovis 55, 54 in Las Vegas, Los Alamos at 49 and 41 miles an hour here in Albuquerque. Right now, things have come down wind wise. Winds out of the north at 9 miles an hour and the temperature at 63 degrees all across the north. We're seeing that cool air flow in, especially the northeast, 30s and 40s there right now. And that cool air continues to slide down to the south. And throughout the day tomorrow, we will be cooler than we We've been in quite some time, especially afternoon highs in the mid 60s here in the metro. Winds are still a bit of a factor 29 miles an hour in Clovis, 15 in Tucumcari, and 17 in Farmington. Thankfully, these will come down as well tonight. Storm system pulling away, back behind it, nothing. So a lot of sunshine on the way. A northwest flow of air will keep us relatively warm. Each day will add a couple of degrees here. But today has definitely been our big change day with the front coming through. But by tomorrow, yeah, we'll be cool. But by Wednesday, temperatures start to warm and they keep warming throughout the rest of the the work week. As far as the overall look at freezing temperatures goes, well, as far as frost goes across the northern part of the state, we've already hit the dates when we usually see our first freeze. Across the south, in many cases, we haven't gotten those dates quite yet, especially around Carlsbad, Roswell still to come, Tucumcari still to come as well. Here in the metro area, our earliest freeze was October 8th, average is October 31st, the latest we tend to see is November 22nd. So as far as how we're looking out the next three months, by the way, well, here's the bad news. Far above average temperature-wise across New Mexico over the next three months. The long-range precip outlook, this is the worst news. Far below average across most of the state and below average across the north. Not the kind of scenario we're looking for. Across the south and west of southern Colorado, 60s and some 50s. And things are going to stay nice there. Across the north and west temperatures here for the most part, 60s and 70s, mostly sunny skies. Northwest winds 10 to 15 miles an hour over to the southwest. Temps here for the most part, 60s and 70s tomorrow, and lots of sunshine throughout the next seven days. Over into the southeast, much cooler tomorrow. But you can see it doesn't last all that long. We tack on 10 degrees each day through Thursday. North and east, temps here, 50s and 60s after a cold start. Finally, in the northern mountains, going to be looking at the 20s for the most part tomorrow morning, and then 50s and 60s by tomorrow afternoon. We stay mild throughout the rest of the work week. East mountains, temps topping out in the 60s with less wind. And finally, here in the metro, better day tomorrow because we won't have as much wind, but it will be much cooler. 65 in the heights, your extended forecast in the Albuquerque area. Temperatures for the most part going to be in the high 60s through Wednesday, and then low 70s Thursday into Friday. That dust storm is just. Wow. I, and it's the kind of thing we don't see all that often, but we may want to get used to it.